Hi Gemini. It's Jo from Angels and Ancestors and Dines. This is your What the Fuck reading, 17th to the 23rd of January. I hope everybody's had a really good start to um, January 2022. I um, hope everybody's really well. Um, so we're going to get straight in to your reading and ask for an energy card. And I'm sorry if I'm a bit snuffly or I sound a little bit bunged up. I'm still not 100% right from picking up the virus. Um, so yeah, it's still going through my system. Although I'm, I'm testing negative, it's still going through my system a little bit. So yeah, just bear with me. And if you hear beeping in the background, I'm really sorry. That's my um, crock pot. It's cooking for me at the moment. Oh, Gemini, you have got horsemen, herald of change. Um, do you know something? When I saw the very first saw this card, I kind of saw a horse spirit, um, and I saw the playful side. I saw the warrior side. I saw. Um, I saw a side of the horse that we don't always give it credit for. Um, long before cars came along, horses were our uh, mainstay of transport. Um, they have walked beside us in wars. They have walked beside us spiritually for such a long time. And I know they're not everybody's cup of tea, but... I have to say that I've always rubbed shoulders with horses. I loved to ride when I was younger and I gave up after my son was born and I never went back to it. More's the pity. Um, but I have to say, when you are sitting on top of a horse um, and you are not galloping or canting or anything like that, you're just letting the walk, horse walk or the pony walk beneath you um, and just enjoying that time together because as soon as your bum is in that saddle that bloody horse knows you inside out they know whether you're nervous or not they know whether you're in control or not um, and just like anything else that's cheeky on the planet they've got their own personalities they know a lot more about you than you know about them and I have to say when I saw this horseman a herald the ch of change i was like oh my gosh oh my gosh you are going to learn things about yourself this year that you had no idea about there is going to be some really huge changes around you and i think that you need to trust in the process you need to trust in that ride you need to just sit back and enjoy where that spirit is taking you a hundred percent it's a number 30 card now it will break down to a three that for me is always celebrations it's celebrations of friends family and community it's celebrations of projects and plans it's the celebration and the collaboration of coming together um, and sometimes it's the celebration of knowing when to stay or when to walk away. Now, I'm not saying that that's a relationship or anything. It could just be walking away from something that you have been doing yourself. Um, but, wow, what a card to start with. Absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Just enjoy it. Just enjoy the moment, the connection. Even if you've never ridden a horse before, I have to say, if you've got some local stables, I would go down and... Um, I'm not saying get on a horse and bloody ride it, because they're difficult. But I would go down and see if you can make friends with a friendly horse. Do not go and approach wild horses... I'm not advocating that, especially not on heathlands and moors. 
because uh, you'll end up getting hurt. But yeah, if there's a friendly stable close by, um, I would, I would go and see if you can maybe just make a connection. So we're up to your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be. Nice. Oh. And this one is what you can do about the situation. Yeah, I wondered if that was going to come out. That or the three. What the fuck is out of your hands? Reconnecting to your true self. For Gemini, 17th to the 23rd of January. Oh, nice Gemini. And your outcome. So, what started your what the fuck for this week? Pull those down a bit. Okay. New beginning. New beginning around finances, career and home life. Probably all three are involved. Probably looking for some work-life balance. Uh, but there's definitely... A new beginning in the offing. It could be a career move, a house move, or a combination of those things. Know it's going to be beneficial just as you get brave enough to step out of the shadows with the Lord of Shadows and back onto the right path for you. The pathway that you thought um, you had missed. Uh, no way. And you're going straight past that wishing well, my darlings. Um, you're stepping back into life like you have never done before, emerging like a butterfly um, because you've had a new perspective, Gemini. There is something that has been going around in circles for you for quite some time and all of a sudden you've decided to look at it from a different angle and it has given you a completely new perspective on what to expect from a partnership. Now, this partnership doesn't necessarily have to be love. It can be. Um, it can be a partnership of parents. It can be a partnership of um, parents and children. It can be family. It can be cousins. It can be friends. It can be business. Just know that there is a celebration after this perspective is taken and a clearer direction is being offered to you. So facing your fears and taking your power back. Um, Gemini, there has been a period for you, I know this because I'm Gemini rising, um, nine of wands where you've had to stick to your guns and you've had to say, hell no, these are my fucking wands. I've worked for these. Um, I'm not letting you take credit for this. This is to do with me. Um, and I'm getting that there has been some successes and that there's been some disappointments. But on the whole, you have stuck to your guns and you have allowed yourself to wait patiently with the three of wands for your ship to come in. And because you waited patiently, because you took your time, because you stuck to your guns and you didn't let anybody steal your thunder... In comes the Page of Wands who helps you magically move those blocks out of the way. And I'm getting that that's how you're feeling. That the blocks have been moved and that you are now ready, willing and able to face your fears, take your power back and move forward in the right direction for you. So your manifestation, your wish fulfilment, why it may be fucked, it's not fucked at all. You have got the Queen of Pentacles now. If this is your energy, darlings, you are giving out abundance. You are offering out love and comfort to everybody else. Please do not forget that you need those things in your life. And to find true happiness and satisfaction and comfort within yourself, it has to come within. It can't come from other people outside of yourself now if this is a person that you are manifesting male or female if this isn't 
an earthy kind of sign that you really want around you, the earth mother, the person that offers that nurturing, that loving, that giving, that abundance, that um, feeling of loved and being comforted. If this is the person that you are looking for, you are manifesting um, Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be those star signs, but they will have earthy traits. They will be very grounded, very um, business-like. They know how to make the money. They know how to bring the contracts in. They know that work-life balance has got to be work-life balance. It has got to be all important. So with your manifestation, your wish fulfillment, if this is how you want to portray yourself, start doing it. If it's somebody that you are drawing towards you, start looking for them. If they're not already within your grasp, if they're not already within your energy, start looking for them. It's not rocket science. You know, drop the need to get explicit about a person. And if you have to be explicit, if there is one person that you've got a burning desire over, name them name them describe them and then at the end of that wish at the end of that manifestation put or something or someone better always finish it with that because you don't want to block yourself from the endless possibilities that are out there for you so your movement your journey where the fuck you need to be you've got the seven of chalices now the sevens for me, they're your options, your choices, your blessings. Now with the seven of chalices, there is a bit of a cautionary tale. Do not let other people make these choices for you. They have to come from you. You can choose every single chalice on that table or you can choose to nurture one or two or three. It's up to you. But don't let these little faith folk whisper in your ear and make it their choice. Because that is no choice at all and you will end up miserable. You need to make this move, this movement, this journey your own. You need to put your mark on it and you need to make those choices for yourself. Yes, it's okay to have those discussions. Yes, it's okay to listen to other people's opinions. But that's all it is, is opinions. It's what would benefit them in the long run. It's not what's going to benefit you in the long run. People are very selfish and self-serving. That's where you need to be. You, If you're not happy within yourself on your journey, nobody around you is going to be happy with yourself and on your journey. They're just not. So going back to what we were talking about with Herald the Changes, and I was talking about the threes being celebrations and knowing when to stay and when to walk away, what you can do about the situation, darlings, know that the time has come for you to acknowledge where you've been, acknowledge who it's, who's been around you, but walk away to a brand new way of life. Now, this could be you leaving the country for the city and vice versa. It could be you walking away to a brand new job. And I mean off-grid living. I mean, if you've been off-grid, you're coming back to society for whatever reason. It is a massive change with the seven of a Thames. Again, your options, your blessings, your choices. You've got two together, two sevens together that's huge hugely spiritual huge move but just know that it's going to be a hundred percent right for you it is so when this opportunity arises and you you've got the opportunity to make that choice you haven't got to leave anybody behind you can take all of your memories with you you can go over your shoulder and appreciate what it is that you've learned, good, bad or indifferent, doesn't matter. But once you've started that journey, do not do a U-turn because there is such change just ahead of you that you really have got no idea what it is that stepping into 2022 is actually going to do for you. Now, when I think about 100 years ago in 1922, my grandmother was just marrying my granddad. They were just getting married. 
they were starting a whole new life together. She was, she'd already moved from Herefordshire in England um, to London and she was in service, her family. Her dad had really radical ideas about wealthy children and he believed that the, the, the guys needed to sign up if they could um, and go and serve their country and that the girls were all put into service around the country. Obviously, they were put into service with um, friend, friendly families that they knew and my grandmother ended up in a big house in London um, and that is where she met my granddad who had been signed into service in 2014 at the age of 14 years old by his granddad because his mum and dad were so fucking abusive towards him um, and he met my nan and um, they married and settled down a hundred, a hundred years ago, my nan um, and my granddad that I knew and loved you know, that's a hundred years ago. That, 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 that's just fucking mind-blowing, isn't it? Know that this, this is going to be a story that is going to be told for a long time to come. For a long time to come. This is something that is bold, it's brave, and it is, it's going to be told. The story will be told. Wow. Wow. Gemini. So what can't you do about this week? Um, you're the king of chalices, male or female. This king um, will sit, eat with you, raise a glass to you, do all the nice things with you, but they'll be fucked if they're going to tell you how they feel. They're just not in that frame. Look at him looking at you like, yeah, all right, <laughs> okay. Here's a glass. Put up with that because I'm not telling you anything else. Now, if this is you, if this is how you're feeling, you don't want to put yourself out there, you don't want people to know how you feel, no, that's not going to last forever. It isn't. You're an air sign. You know that you are going to think things through. And yes, your head is going to rule your heart, but it's not going to stay in those... Th in With this journey, it's not going to stay like that. It isn't. If this is somebody else, other than your Queen of Pentacles... Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Know that this person is being held back from you. Know that this person may want to come tippy-toeing in and going, here's a chalice, here's a meal, let's get it on. And you're going to say, hold on a second, if I'm going to be vulnerable, I need you to be vulnerable. Because there is no way I'm having a relationship with somebody who hasn't got that vulnerability to work with me on this. And that is where the sticking point is going to be. Don't, don't rush this one. If you know this person, don't rush it. Don't allow them to push you into making a decision that you really don't want to make. Hold back. Let the universe hold on to this for you just for this week. Just to get your head straight around what it is that you think that they're offering. Um, and what it is that you may be able to offer back to them. Because my guess is there's going to be a mismatch. There's going to be a mismatch. And it's going to save you a whole lot of heartache if you just let the universe hold on to it for a while. So reconnecting to your true self, you have the world tree. Now this tree is planted and rooted deep into the ground. It splays out over night and day and all seasons. And just as we think that it's dying off, it then bursts back into life. And the cycle starts again. You have the asp at the end of the tree, reminding us that it's time to shed old skin and don't keep the bloody old skin as a souvenir. You don't need to be reminded of what has been. You just need to be reminded of what it is that you need to go forward with a new skin, a new way of being in front of you. Your outcome, darlings, you have the wild hunt. You are setting the light into the wild hunt you have shone it in 
and it is showing you a truth or an untruth and it's massively empowering mass hugely empowering that light is so bright there is nowhere for this truth or this untruth to hide there isn't then your choices come in they kick in really do and those choices are do you rebuild do you take the chance are you at the place where you feel you can be vulnerable enough to rebuild or do you cut your losses and take what you can with you and piss off somewhere else that's your choice it's been you know what this is Th this you've done this but your outcome hasn't become solidified yet because you are still in the throes of making these choices here So what's hidden from you at the bottom of the deck? You've got the two of wands. Darlings, you are setting yourself up to go out on a quest. You know what this is. You know that there is something else that is calling you. It's pulling you. It wants you to do this. It wants you, whatever it is, whether it's physical, mental, emotional, spiritual or sensual, it is saying to you, come on, it is time. It is time to leave your comfort zone it is time to step out into the world and go and do a bit of exploring and this could be exploring of self it could be exploring of your environment it could be the wider world it could be a smaller world it could just be something that you've always wanted to do and now they're saying there is no time like the present now, because there's the two of wands here, it is very likely that there is somebody like-minded, not necessarily a love interest, but somebody who is like-minded that would like to do this with you. Do not close yourself off to that possibility. This is us the Whispering Woods for some cards for Gemini. And we have path. Wander on the path less travelled. What you find might surprise you. Dance. Allow yourself some fun each day. Just as the sun dances with the moon each night. I love that card. That was clever whoever put that one together. Opportunities unfurl like fern even without warm sunlight nice oh gemini i tell you what i've had some good readings um this week i really have really nice readings for people so this is like been really good for me let me know what you think of the thumbnails Hit the like button for me and the subscribe button. Um, and I love getting messages, you know I do. Um, so yeah, if you've got the time, drop me a message. Tell me what you think. Um, I do get back to everybody. Oh, make the most of it. Because I think life is about to get really busy. So, I'm going to put that one on the bottom. Oh, so we have magic guardian for you, Gemini. Unlock the magic within. I think it's been very evident all through the reading that that is what you're attempting to do by sticking to your guns and saying, this is mine. This is mine. Spring, see your seeds grow. Darlings, they are so ready. Eagle, see from a higher perspective. Elder, move beyond ancestral patterns. Stop repeating the patterns of the past. Start your own patterns. Night, be brave and honest. Gemini, that's your reading, 17th to the 23rd of January, wherever you are in the world. Please be safe and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.